Hey guys, Dave G, Electric Reviews. I am here today with the Altas. This is the world's first coilless atomizer. I did get this in the mail today. Um, tried beating everybody else on getting it, but uh, I don't think I did. Anyway, um, I'm here to tell you that this thing is pretty fucking tits. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's sick as, but this Altus is fucking nice. Let's get down, let's get down and dirty with it, and we'll check it out. Okay, here we are. I mean, um, this thing looks great on a mod. It's about the size of a Sigeli Elite tank. Um, it is a 22 millimeter tank. It's it's a, it's pretty fabulous looking. I kind of like it. It's wish it came in some different colors, of course, but you know can't ever go wrong with silver or black. Go ahead and check out what's in the box here. I'll lay that down sideways. All right, so here's the box. Uh, you see at the top there. It has point, point three six to point six ohm CVU. Altus, the world's first coilless atomizer. Guovape.com. Guo, chase bigger. Yep, that's a box. You are holding the revolutionary Altus, the world's first coilless atomizer, invented by a physicist and produced by top engineers. This atomizer will take your vaping experience to a whole new level. Runs without coils. Our patent pending solid state CVU is a new high performance technology. Make coil changing and metal poisoning a thing of the past. Produces pure flavor. CVU chips. Even heat brings out superior flavor from your favorite juice. Creates giant clouds. Go ahead and fog up the place. Engineered and designed in the USA. Assembled in China. This is not a toy. Altus instruction manual table of contents so it gives you information on replacing the cotton priming the cotton filling the tank cleaning the tank warnings and warranty this does come with a one-year warranty there's a blowout of the uh, system there's the heart of it the CVU Yeah, we all know how to do that stuff. Well, maybe not on this particular tank. Uh, come with some cotton. Cotton squares. These are a particular size. Can you buy those elsewhere? I don't know. Can you use your own cotton? Sure you can. And it came with this little, little envelope. And that is what this was in spare o-rings one two three four five of these large ones one two three four five of the smaller ones we'll find out what those are here pretty quick move all this stuff out of the way go ahead and pull this puppy off of here Five ten threading is smooth. CVU made in USA. I do want to point out that that pin does not protrude at all. It is it is flush. Look at that. There's your airflow. One two three 
four holes. Moves pretty easily. You get a standard 510 drip tip. Probably some shit on there for me vaping on this, but got a laser engraving there. Altus TM trademarked. That is a good looking tank. It's a 3.5 mil. The CVU is designed, engineered, and made in the United States. Uh, supposedly last years. So hopefully that is the case. Uh, gold plated terminal contacts on that CVU. It's a 22 millimeter diameter, as I stated before. AFC. Tremendous airflow. The airflow is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's tremendous, but uh, it's it's damn nice. 25 to 75 watt range in non-temperature control mode and in temperature control it goes from 300 to 480 degrees Fahrenheit uh, Pyrex tank uh, year, one year limited warranty which is uh, manufacturer warranty how about we empty this out take it apart see what we like and see what we okay, do so I do have it emptied out and like I said it is a uh, it is a 22 millimeter. Let's see the measurement there. Approximately 28. So 7:30 seconds. 7:30 seconds is 21.8. Good. Um, let's take it apart. Now I've read some things, people saying that this has a lot of parts. Um, to me, it doesn't seem like it does. The last tank that I reviewed was the Aqua FX, and that thing had a lot of fucking parts. There's the bottom airflow. It just separates right from this. This is your CVU. This just separates right there. I didn't really want to re-wick this, but I will. O-ring comes right off and uh, let's keep an eye on that if you lose these not really a big deal because you got five more of them so let's just check that out for a minute here the uh, build quality is pretty damn nice these threads are real smooth got that little bridge in there makes me think of those old uh, cardamizers you take the bridge out of well, somebody's gonna take the bridge out of this eventually one day so that just screws off there and there's the baby right there Wicking material. That's about two tanks. Not uh, not in real bad condition. I'd expect to see that on some coils. There 
There it says Guo right there. It's uh, gold, kind of looks like a laser engraving, but gold. And those are supposed to be gold plated posts. They look more like copper to me. Um, yeah, it's pretty much a positive and a negative. There's a little, there's your positive pin right in there. When I first got this, what I did was stuck it in here, put a few drips of juice on it. I'll go ahead and do that again right now. This will void your warranty, by the way. Seems like uh, a lot of the juice is boiling off of this point here, if you notice that. Well, that's one way to burn yourself also. There's a lot of heat in that. I've read that that element in there is uh, supposed to be tungsten. As far as the outside, it seems like it's ceramic. It seems like it's ceramic to me. I'm just guessing though. So let's pull this off. Uh, we'll re-wick it, put some different juice in it, and vape on it. And talk about how she vapes. See what kind of cloud production we got coming out of it. Okay, so I have my own cotton here. Cut a little square out. Maybe, maybe a little bit thinner than that. That looks good to me. Pop her on one side and just fold it over. Go ahead and put this upside down. And you just want to slide that baby in. Here's that part. Let's get this thing over top of that, right there. This ring on to hold the I didn't put that on upside down, did I? Come on. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and trim this out right now. Makes it a little bit easier. This next step here, which is jamming it up. Through this. There we go. That wake up in there. Everything's looking good. Go ahead and just prime the shit out of this. Like any other pink. 
Go ahead and put her on here. The airflow. Fill up the tank. sealed there and there it is not that hard I'm gonna wash this off we're gonna go up throw it on the iJoy a solo and uh, let's see how she vapes yeah here we're back up I got her all cleaned up uh, back on the iJoy I have it in temperature control mode right now it's reading 0.45 ohms and I have it at 480 degrees Fahrenheit on nickel setting You see that juice in there? It, it kind of, uh, for me, it kind of just sucks the juice down. Um, I was reading on the uh, Origin Vape website. I did not buy this from Origin Vape. I bought it off of uh, Vape Royalty, actually. That uh, it uh, sips the juice, but no. No, uh, no spit back. You can chain vape this thing. There's a little bit of heat there, but not much. The resistance reading was up to 0 0.70 on there um, so on the box where it does say 0 0.36 to 0.6 you know it's uh, it's pretty close it's kind of a roundabout estimate I guess unless my mods off but I don't think so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in uh, regular mode we'll put her up at let's go with 50 Five watts first. The flavor is, uh, I, I think it's better than RDA. I mean, I got an RDA here on a mechanical, and as as far as getting flavor on this tank as compared to what flavor I get off of this, I'd say this tank is better. It's a it's a it's a more like snappier flavor. I was gonna say deeper, but it's not deeper. It's it's snappier. Oh, it did, did get a little bit warm there. too bad. Not like any other normal tank I guess. Maybe a little hotter. Nice. I do want to mention one thing. Your nicotine content is going to go down. First juice I put into this was the 3 milligram. And I tell you what, it gave me a nick fit like right away um, 
so I went down to this 1.5 I had sitting around. Um, I hadn't gone that low yet, so, but I'll tell you what, I can, the nicotine is off this 1.5 is, is hitting me, and I'm used to a 3, 2, 6. So, you want to drop your nicotine, here's the, uh, here's the tool to do it. The airflow wide open. It's uh, comparable to it's comparable, but more open to the Aspire Atlantis. I know everybody's tried that tank. Um, imagine that on wide open. This is just a little bit better. Um, it's not like like an RDA, but you know, it's it's in between them. Gotta say, all in all, this tank is worth the money for me. I mean, if I don't have to, uh, I don't have to buy replacement coils ever again, hopefully. Um, I'd like to see what kind of a price tag they have on those CVUs. But the tank looks great holds plenty of e-liquid in it. As far as I'm concerned, this thing's, a, this thing's a home run in my book. Now, what don't I like about this thing? Well, I don't like the fact that there's only silver, but course this hasn't been released yet it's just uh, kind of a, a test release I guess um, I imagine there's gonna be more colors coming out If you have any questions, any comments, anything you need to know about this and uh, possibly can't find it on your own or would just rather ask somebody who has the unit, um, feel free to drop a comment down below. Uh, if you like the video, make sure and subscribe. And everybody, this is Dave G. Thanks for watching. Keep vaping.